if you can't tell. It's go time. Time to head to Indo. The wind's died down a bit. The pods have cleared a bit. Oh, I made it to Indonesia. It was about a three and a half hour paddle from the other side of this island, which you can't see Malaysia anymore. It was tough. It was, uh, I'd say, a bit longer than expected. I was thinking two hours once I started going. It was more like three hours, total three and a half or more to get to where I'm camped here, which is pretty decent. It's the first spot I tried. I just saw this little sandy spot here. Pulled up the kayak. Obviously, somebody's been here before. I assume there's some sort of fish trap of some sort, or maybe just for tying their boats to. There was another tent over that way, sort of like a makeshift shelter of some sort. I found a spot right up here. It's pretty dope. Little grassy patch on what looks to be the ruins of an old pier here. You can sort of see it stretches all the way down to the water, and it's like some decent masonry work from 50 years ago or 100 years ago. Unloaded the kayak, hauled my stuff up there, and then dragged the kayak up here and tied it to a tree way up here. Because, as you can see, this is uh, mangrove trees here. And you can see how high the water gets. The water gets to those roots. So my boat will be floating at some point tonight, even though it's that far from the ocean. Anyways, yeah, I went to put up the tent and realized that piece of one of the poles is gone so it doesn't stick in to where it needs to so I potentially was looking at a very lopsided tent it's already a pretty crappy tent to begin with but thankfully I managed to jerry-rig something pretty quickly and it's uh, standing and it's holding pretty good uh, when I got here the mosquitoes were going crazy I think I got bit like 10 times within a few minutes at rub on mosquito stuff like in a deodorant stick and it didn't stop them they still started biting but now i got pants on and i guess that was sort of just a brief spell of mosquitoes because they seem to be gone surprisingly it's a tough day a lot of nerves a lot of stress uh i need to eat and i need to sleep because i'm tired i'm exhausted welcome to indonesia welcome to indonesia that's not an indonesian accent well i guess it could be for some people that's not my attempt at an Indonesian accent. That's just an accent of some sort. Oh, I see some houses over across the way. Way over there. Do you see those? Right there. A house or two. All right, good night. Good night. So I realized you might be curious what I had for dinner. I had a can of mackerel and tomato sauce, muesli with nuts and raisins and ghee and water. Oh, and I had some Korean seaweed flakes. Yeah, really a gourmet, gourmet meal. I forgot to mention that there's a sort of what looks like an animal trail leading into the jungle from my tent. It looks like a fairly large animal, could be human. Looks more like a Sumatran tiger though, or at least that's what I've been thinking. So I peed a bit around my tent, hoping to know, let him know that this is my territory. Hopefully it's not his or her territory. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, blinding, I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. Okay, good night. Good morning. It's a pretty good sleep last night. I've got, definitely got enough hours in me. Woke up uh, quite a few times, partly because the waves were crashing right outside my tent. The water pretty much came right to where the sand is there. So pretty close. Definitely glad I lifted the kayak all the way up out of the water here. Otherwise it would have been probably smashing around off the trees down there because I only have one rope to tie it. It's not the best scenario for it. But yeah, the water came super close, which I thought was a possibility. I knew the moon was somewhat full. I could see where the water had come up before. I was right outside my door. That woke me up a couple of times. And then also, this is the extent of the vent on this tent. So I tried to keep this big mesh door open as much as possible, but when it started raining, it started dripping in on me, of course. So I had to close it. 
And when I did that, tons of little bugs came in. I don't know if you can see these little guys. Tons of little sand flies, I think they are, some sort. Whenever I open the screen to close the main door, they get in. The design of this tent is pretty garbage, and those guys just bite like crazy. They're all bloodthirsty guys. Big day today, I'm going to paddle around the whole island, I think. Depending on what this wind does, I may have a shorter cut or I may go all the way around the island, which would I'm sort of open to either of them. Anyway, I gotta find food, food and water. Uh, I have enough for the morning, but I'm gonna be pretty hungry and thirsty come lunchtime. So gotta find somewhere. I know there's places around. And then gotta go check into immigration in Indonesia. The wind was scheduled to be really strong which is part of the reason why I was planning on going the long way around the island. Pretty dead calm right now though, so maybe I'll be able to beat, beat the wind. When I hit the water, I'll make the call. Ah, ah. <sighs> Time to make some oats with chia and almonds and raisins. And maybe have an apple and I'll be good to go. All right, I'm all loaded up. Ready to head out onto the Indonesian waters. Day three of the big kayak adventure. This is my campsite from last night. A bit soggy all over. Looking forward to getting back on the water and hopefully finding a dry place to sleep tonight. <laughs> it's pretty calm out there right now. It's supposed to get pretty strong wind though, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna go right or left. Decisions, decisions, decisions. If I go that way, it's about 15K. But if the wind picks up really strong, I'll be paddling straight into it. If I go that way, about 25k, protected from the wind, until I get to within about 5k. Right now, there's a little bit of a current going that way. I'm tempted to go this way. What do you think? That way? Or that way? So I decided to go right. And I think it was the good decision. So far the wind's pretty light and it looks like I might even get some cover from the land over there. I'm heading to pretty much just the point. You can sort of just see it behind the pillars there to the left. It's pretty calm. The ocean is really mellow right now. Mostly because I think the majority of the wind is coming from behind this land. Which I might have ran right into if I went the other side. But I basically put the kayak in the water it started going to the right, so I decided to go to the right. Sometimes that's how I make my decisions. I let, uh, well, a lot actually. I let, I let nature decide for me. Um, usually more like specifically to do with weather forecasts and forecasts and rain and whatever conditions I'm in. But this was sort of more subtle, a subtle hint from nature telling me to go right. I'm happy. Are you happy? Cause I got an apple, a Pacific Queen apple from New Zealand. They're actually pretty good. I trust apples from New Zealand much more than I trust apples from China. Cause they are one of the most heavily sprayed fruit around. And I'm sure China has created their own types of sprays. Yeah. New Zealand, yeah, probably, who knows? Maybe New Zealand has just as worse, but I know New Zealand is working towards having organic across the country. 100%, I don't know if they're gonna do it or not. I sure hope so. My favorite little hatch on the boat, right in front of where I sit. Nice red cliffs. Looks like they're reclaiming some sea over there, or claiming. Uh, this didn't look like it was on the map before. Anyways, I'm going to that point there, about 5K. Hopefully I can clear into Indonesia over there. Can I clear into Indonesia? Will they cuff me? Will they arrest me? Will they wave? Will they look at me curious? Yes, absolutely. Will they let me in? I think so. How can't you let in this guy, eh? Hmm. Looking forward to dryness. 
This is a pretty cool spot here, just uh, alongside of Karimun Island. Pretty much all along this coastline, people have built these little, little fishing shacks, tenuously built on what looks like large sticks. And this is sort of one of the nicer looking ones. Some of them just involve a chair. A lot of them seem to have been abandoned, but uh, it's pretty cool. You see like the father and son out hammering away on them. It's like their little cottages in a way, although they just use them for day. I, don't, I doubt they'd ever sleep out here, although maybe it'd be a pretty nice place to sleep. I'd be up for that. right at the ferry terminal where I could tell people go through immigration and customs. There's like a departure and arrival sign. There was nowhere to really bring the kayak up safely on land and there wasn't a good place to dock it either. So I just tied it to this ratty old nailed together piece of shit ladder tied with five different ropes onto like a steel walkway that was about 10 feet up. It wasn't the most reassuring or comfortable way to climb in and go into immigration. It worked, it held my weight. I made sure to hold, to put my feet right where the nails were on this thing. Climbed up the ladder. Thankfully there was no other boats there or anything. There was just one immigration guy on his phone. He didn't even notice me walk up until I was like, hello. And he looked at me, he's like, what? Where'd you come from? What are you, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I, uh, I kayak from Malaysia. And he was like, what? Seriously? And he was like, what? And he looked down and you could see my kayak flapping around down by the, the ferry dock there and he was very suspicious curious stoked some younger guys nearby who were like what like you kayak from malaysia I was like yeah yeah i kayak gave him my passport showed him that i had an indonesian visa at the same time i also showed him my support letter from gord johns thanks gord <laughs> my buddy who's in uh, parliament in canada first thing he did was call his superior in the meantime like all the ferry captains were coming and like taking photos with me taking selfies kids were taking selfies. I showed them my website. They were stoked on it. I must have taken photos with like 15 people while this immigration guy is still just trying to figure out how to get me into the country. He came back after a while and we're not able to accept yachts and kayaks here. It's just so you know. And I was like, oh really? Um, okay. I didn't really like put up a fuss. I didn't really say much at that point. I was just smiling and being like, okay, well, I think I just was being chill about it. I thought their, their options were sort of slim. Either they tell me I have to kayak 150 kilometers to Batam in order to clear in, or they arrest me, or they force me on a ferry out of the country. And I just really didn't think they were going to do any of those things. Um, partly because I had my letter, partly because I had just kayaked from Malaysia, which was deserve some respect, I think, in their minds. <laughs> Not that I felt like it deserved respect, but I think they thought it deserved some respect and they could tell I was, you know, doing what I was doing and I wasn't bullshit. I had legit expedition going on and they wanted to help me out. Eventually, I guess he got the okay from his boss and he snapped my passport and it was all good. They let me into Indonesia. I was relieved, very stoked. And there it was, I was in Indonesia. And here I am now.